Hi YouTubers, Cindy Oaks here. Um, this is going to be a demo of the new ad that I'm putting on iTunes called I Love Math Quiz. It's a math quiz. And if you've seen any of my other quizzes, this is a little different. For starters, you know, I put the menu in a table view. The help's all the way here at the bottom. And um, then you select each category. And like if there's a disclosure button here, then you can select it. And the first ones are simple. Well, depends on what you call simple. And you answer it, and then there keeps the stats, just like my other quizzes. And then you can scroll through by swiping, or you can do the next and previous. You can reset and start over if you want, but I'm not going to because I've got a I've done it a bunch of times and I want to show you some questions, you know, how things work. So, and the subtractions just like that. And then a few of those. And multiplication. I wonder what that thing was going to do. And I did not dream up all these numbers myself. Um, I, inside the program, I wrote a, um, between me and it comes, a pseudo number generator and then I wrote a scheme to come up with numbers so that every time you pull up the screen uh, the same ones will come because you have to you know you can't do 2500 questions in one uh, setting so this way you will have your answers like for instance like um that like these all these answers here these 31 those are I've shut the simulator on and off a few times and it saved them for me the only way if you wanna you know you can use that to zap it out but another way um, you can always um, delete the app from the device and that zaps everything out and then when you put it back on it goes on too but that's sort of the hard way to do it it's easier just to reset then we have the inverted arithmetic you see you've got your four sections there and then you've got the same four sections on the inverted and they're different numbers because like I said I used a, a number generator but I did have some schemes because I wanted I didn't want the numbers to get too big and then when I get to the division I have to uh, throw out a bunch of them because you can't divide by zero uh, the app will blow up and that's not a good thing so so anyway then we have the triplet and you have all four plus you have a mixed one and that would be like um, you would use two symbols instead of just one um, and I have worked some of those and uh, then you have inequality and on um, this is a little different I mean well, it's not different you just decide whether it's greater than or equal to or um, or less than and on um, this is pretty you know easy. I was going through them seeing if I could find any of this equal. Earlier today when I was working on it I did find some that was equal but I found bugs and things in the programs that I've had to work out so since I've done more working I haven't really noticed any. So and you do have your your four sections addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and then you have a mixed section also for this where you have two signs that you can put, compare because you know like just doing with one sign might have been too easy for you so it was more work on me having to do that but I wanted it to be a good quiz and then down here the statistical information you have your range and you definitely have to know how to do them because I mean I'm not a math teacher and this quiz does not uh, you know claim to teach you math it's just a quiz you have to already know how to do it uh, I mean I can tell you what it is right now range you take the largest number and subtract the smallest number and that gives you your range like for instance here this would be 45 minus uh, 14 and so what's that going to be 31 we're going to guess yep it was and the mean is the average you add up the three numbers and then divide by the total number you have, which in this case it's three, and that's just all I'll put. And then the medium, that is the value of the middle, middle number. Like I've done some of these. It's the, so, I mean, some of them I did wrong deliberately, some of them I just got them wrong. 
and then mode, that is the number that occurs the most time. So like this one here would be 13. And I've done some of these. I had to do some work on this because I had some bugs. And I think I've got them all out. In the future, I might put other, um, like maybe exponents or algebra or factors in here too. But um, I've got to get this on the other devices like Android and um, uh, Blackberry and Windows. So I won't be doing a whole lot of adding to this till I get the other done. So anyway, I hope this will help you with your math problems. I know my sister, she was been telling me that she didn't like the Bible quizzes. Of course, she doesn't like the Bible. And she just pretty much thought those was a waste of time and that people needed math. And she even sent me an article from uh, one of her trade magazines about how people were having problems with math. So uh, I like math. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a lot of it. Way back when, when I was in school, that was one of my favorite t uh, subjects. But So I thought, well, we'll just do a math quiz, and we might add more to this too later. So you guys have a good evening. Bye.